Welcome to tonight's very special Paddy Power Darts from Home featuring 16 time champion of the world Phil the Power Taylor against the Queen of the Palace, Fallon Sherrick, the woman who shot the men at the Alexandra Palace at Christmas. Dad say, former world champion Mark Webster joins on the line now. Mark, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, trying to keep as busy as I can. Obviously, it's a, it's a strange scenario for everyone, but sort of being able to sort of play a bit of darts now and then and commentate on some darts has been good. So it's nice to keep busy but, and bring some entertainment to people. Back to tonight's matters. Phil playing for his house in Stoke-on-Trent. Fallon playing from Milton Keynes. You played a few of these tournaments during lockdown online. How difficult is it playing from home? Yeah, it is, yeah, Dave, it is strange. Um, you, you've got the the fact that you can't follow on from a player. That's what I found difficult. You're sort of waiting around, waiting for your player to hear their score. It, it is being tricky, and it's going to be tricky for Phil and Fallon tonight. But you know, I think they played a little bit on streams and. They played a few exhibitions, so yeah, they'll adjust to it, but it's going to be tough for both of them. Something different, but um, it'll be a great game, I'm sure. Both players were using soft tip dart boards where the score is done electronically. Just talk us through the difference between soft tip and steel tip. Yeah, the major difference is you know, the bigger segments are, the trebles are bigger, the doubles are bigger, and uh, you know, a lot of the time you can finish on a treble, the bullseye and the outer ball counts for 50, whereas on a steel tip is 25 and 50, so that can be quite an advantage. But uh, yeah, you'll expect some big scores from both the players tonight with the bigger segments and it, it, it'll be slightly easier, but it, it'll be tough in one sense to sort of get breaks of throw because you can be so dominant because the target's so big. You mentioned the ball there. Phil and Fallon have spoken before this match and agreed that using the 50, the big part of the board, will only be used during a natural checkout. Yeah, I think that's a good agreement. It makes it really steel tip rules, isn't it? Just on a soft tip board. So the, the 25 counts for 25, the ball's 50. So yeah, it... it it's a proper game of darts, so to speak, on a different board. So it'll be very interesting, but you'll still see some big scores and big finishes just because of the size of the target and the quality of both these players as well. Phil retired back in 2018, but we saw against Bakura Suzuki, he's still got it, hasn't he? How good would he be if he was still on the circuit? Well, he's still the best, isn't he? I mean, he's, he's still hungry to win all the time. I mean, I played in a few exhibitions in the last few years and they're sort of like mini competition, but he still wants to win. He's still got a massive appetite to win matches, even though he doesn't really play competitive darts now. But he'll be wanting to win tonight. He's beaten McCurry, he lost to Barnabell. That, that would hurt him, even though he'd have laughed it off. He wants to win all the time. So I'm expecting the same attitude that we've seen throughout his career tonight from Phil Taylor. To Fallon, she's a massive crowd favourite. She'll have to do without the support of the crowd tonight, but even without the support of the crowd. She's a great player, isn't she? No, oh, I mean, the, the crowd really helped her at um, Alexandra Palace, but, you know, throwing some good darts helped her as well. She played really well. She defeated Ted Evans, Mentor Sulu, and she gave Chris Dolby a good run as well. So, yeah, it, it's going to be completely different tonight, but surely it's a challenge she'll relish. I think she's played Phil in a few exhibitions, but this is completely different now. This is a long format match on a soft tip board as well. She's played a bit of that as has Phil, so it'd be really competitive and a good experience for her as well. She'll be in her own front room tonight, but she'll be playing the greatest player to have ever lived. Will there be nerves tonight? Um, yeah, you've got to be, haven't you? I mean, I mean, I've played him a few times, and I've, I've, I think I've come out on the winning end a couple of times. But generally, you, you know when you play him that one bad visit could cost you the whole leg, the whole set. So it puts pressure on every throw, and it does phase you. Yeah? And she will feel it a little bit tonight. Yeah, it's in a relaxed atmosphere, but you're still playing the 16-time world champion Phil Taylor, so there will be that little bit of pressure. But I think she's just got to try and enjoy the game. And who knows? I mean, it's 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 a game. A board she's experienced on, you never know, but she's up against it, that is for sure. Fallon was playing in the Modus League and a dog squirtle stopped the game because it was running around barking during the match. I'm reliably informed it won't be there tonight, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was unusual, wasn't it? But I, th I think she finished, was it 120 straight after, after the destruction? So obviously didn't phase her too much, but these the... Uh, uh, Things added to that playing from home, these little things happen, little snags there. It all adds to the fun and the drama, and I'm, I'm sure we'll get plenty of that in this matchup. Moments away from the off, which way is it going to go? Oh, you have to go with Phil Taylor, don't you? I mean, the, the experience, although Fallon's playing great stuff. I've been playing with, playing darts with Phil the last year or so in plenty of exhibitions. He's still playing at a top, top level, and I just think he'll have a little bit too much for Fallon tonight. Thanks, Mark. Are you ready for darts? Let's play. Our MC is John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again when Paddy Power bring you darts at home in association with Target Darts. And ladies and gentlemen, for all of you in lockdown, it's coming live to your homes for your entertainment. There comes a time when you meet royalty and that time has arrived. 
Ladies and gentlemen, firstly, would you please welcome from Milton Keynes, England, a Premier League challenger. And ladies and gentlemen, she entered the record books by winning two consecutive matches at the coveted PDC World Championship, shooting her to global stardom. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Queen of the Palace, Fallon Sherrod! Ladies and gentlemen, from Stoke-on-Trent, England, it's time to welcome back the legend. He dominated the world of darts for over three decades. Ladies and gentlemen, the record-breaking, history-making, 16 times, the champion of the world, it's Phil, the power Remembered the lot. Brilliant. That's it. Shoes. Yeah. Overrated. Ah, well, at least it's a big improvement on last week. John McDonald. Hopefully we'll get the full set by the time we're finished with our Darts at Home series. Back in business then with Fallon Sherrick against Phil Taylor. And I, for one, have really, really been looking forward to this. The Queen of the Palace. She became... Instantly famous worldwide in the space of one week at the World Championship at the Alexandra Palace. And I'm sure she will give Phil Taylor a real run for his money, Wayne. Yeah, Phil's been in well, he's been involved in some battles, hasn't he, recently on the, the soft tip board. Uh, he was battered by Barney, then he, he just scraped by Suzuki. But both times, Stuart, he, he He's led and, and been pulled back. So maybe we'll see something similar today. But in Fallon Sherrick, he's playing someone that he, he's played very, very recently. First thing, it's Phil to and they've first. had some real tight games. Game but on. Phil has always got over the line just ahead of Fallon. I wonder if that will be a similar hey, tale of seven. today. One thing we did notice, Stuart, didn't we? Last week when he played Suzuki was the drift into the treble fives. And that could be really important today. 55. Yeah, as you say, Fallon would really love to get this done. First to seven, of course, the players will have a break after five legs. We must point out as well, uh, as per the game between Phil and Makuri uh, Suzuki, there is an agreement in soft tip Wayne. Normally you go to the ball to finish, but that won't be the case here. Explain. 140. Yeah, that's right. As you can see, the... The bullseye being the black bit and the what's known as the semi ball worth 25 points. There is no 25 points on this board. It's all 50. That whole ring in a ring is worth 50. The guys have agreed to just play conventional rules, conventional darts. 140. Uh, good darts from Fallon. Uh, hasn't left a finish, but pressure on Taylor. Uh, 189. Kurt Bevins, of course, calling the action once again. 140. Of course, the reason that Phil went to fill the whole lot for a 180, that, of course, Paddy Power again making a donation of £1,000 to the NHS Charity Heroes for every £1,000, every 180 hit, rather. And for every time a double is hit with the first dart, just like that, there's a £200 bonus. So, Phil Taylor getting the, the match underway, a winning leg, and also money for uh, the NHS Charity Heroes. There we go, confirming £200, £1,000 for every 180 hit. And if you win the leg, first dart and a double, you get even more. Taylor won up, holds the throw. Game on. Yeah, Fallon didn't do a lot wrong. She, she threw second in the leg. That was her undoing. Max, go on. 121. Oh, no. Okay, all right. Nothing to, to panic about. But I, I've got to say, uh, you mentioned it, Stuart, the World Championships where Fallon 
hit the ground running, beat Ted Everts. There's a max. Oh, yes. Beat Ted Everts, then beat Mencia Sulevic. But it was the win over Mensur that got people talking, wasn't there it? It was like, go. hold on now. This isn't no fluke. This really isn't. A doubling prowess on the steel tip board has been absolute phenomenal since. And 90. She's a, she's a tough nut to crack. She's got belief. But more than that, she has ability. She's yeah, cool, calm and composed under pressure. And we're seeing more of that here. 140. Oh, good last start, that was. Yeah. Good last start. They're having Brilliant a right chat, Phil. Good, good last start, that. One. Yes. Of course, they can hear each other playing on the interactive uh, target Nexus board. And Taylor looking at another maximum. And there it is. Two 180s in the leg. But Fallon has been brilliant at big finishes. Is she going to be brilliant again? Oh! That's amazing! Fantastic dart from Fallon Sherrick. Raises a smile, Philip Taylor. A 155. Magnificent, Mr. Mardle. Yeah, deep down, Phil's not smiling about that, is he? This is lockdown darts, of course, and Phil was looking like he was going to lock down the second leg for. A 2 0 lead, but Fallon Sherrick, with the help first. of that 1 5 Game. 5, it's now 1 yeah. 1. Just want to say yeah. something about the the averages and the finishes you're going to see. You're going to see some unbelievable darts thrown today. And look, we don't know what's gone on. We've got absolutely no idea, but the segments on soft tip boards are bigger, markedly bigger than you'll see on any steel tip board. A treble, for instance, uh, on a, a steel tip board is about 9.4 millimetres wide. Whereas in this uh, soft tip, you're going to see a treble 16 millimetres wide. That's that's hell of a difference. That's why you're going to see ton plus averages, big finishes, 180s, you name it. You are going to see it. That's what we want to see. I've really been looking forward to this. Um, Sherrick here. 60. Has got a big opportunity against the darts. Looking at the first break. It's been a cracking start to the game. 100. All that we expected and a little bit more. Fallon yeah. on a, a possible two darter here to hit the front. Phil needs two trebles. Well, one treble. 100. Crept in. Ball new require 81. Looking for a 57. No, she's gone the 45-36 route. This is the Mardle approved route. She's normally very, very good at double 18. And shot the third leg. Not this time. She's very, very good at double nine this time. One nil down. Three one up. Two one up. Sorry, I was getting all carried away, Stu. Look at the money for charity already. I think that's why you're getting carried away. 2,200 already won. Uh, well, by Phil. Fallon to throw first. Uh, 1,200 on. by Fallon. Yeah, I mean, we... we 140. You talked about the, the, the wins over Ted Everts and Mansur Solovich at the, at the Ali Pali. She gave Chris Doby a real run. Uh, 108. For his money as well. As Taylor hits a, a third maximum. Dobie was in a real game. I mean, it was it was just, you know, she, as I said, Wayne, headlines 100. worldwide, all around the world. And it was it was, you know, what a boost it was for for darts. It's normally, you know, Michael Van Gerwen or Gary Anderson making the Ali Pali headlines, Peter Wright as it was this year, but she put darts on the front back and middle pages didn't she yeah she did what a what a philip it was for for women's sport not not just darts so yeah massive pickup and it's good that we still got darts going on look we're in we're in real difficult times with the covid-19 pandemic but we are involved in in a sport that can be played remotely phil taylor is in his lounge room in stoke 164 Fallon, 
not going to take out the 164. He's in Milton Keynes with a, a dog Squirtle and Rory, her son, being looked after by her sister. One hundred and forty. I'm going to start trying. Seb Phil earlier on in the leg. It could be in a spot of bother here again. Still a chance. Is that in? Is that, that in the trouble 17? It is! Oh, well, Fallon Sherrick's won three on the spin. Another brilliant finish. Another £200. Two ton plus finishes. Couple of 180s. Three legs on the spin. And how about that? Fallon Sherrick, 3 1 up on the power. She's doing well, isn't she? It's the, leg is filled it's the finishing, first. Stu. Game on. One five five eighty one and one ten. I'm I'm going to make an observation here. Well, it's not actually an observation. It's kind of a a, a look into the future. I know Phil's been kind of animated already, but when he's feeling pressure, I've known Phil to talk a lot during a game. One hundred. I wonder if he's going to start that here because he's he's been a bit talkative oh, yeah. from the start for me. He wasn't like this against Barney, was he? Oh, 135. Just shuddering away. He's he? still rambling. <laughs> <laughs> it's normally me. <laughs> and it's still you. You're still rambling, <laughs> even today. <laughs> of course, now a, a 47-year-old uh, Wayne Mardle, uh, who's recently Thanks, celebrated a, yet another birthday. Yet oh, another one, yeah. S celebrated my 21st for the... 26th time. That's what I do. Yeah, what consolation you'll you'll you won't ever catch up with me, Wayne. No, oh, do you want? I know. It's always reassuring. Taylor on 171. Can you make a dent? 131. Yes, ah, brilliant to leave tops. Yeah, another another nuance with soft tip darts, which this is, is that the, the players normally normally use slightly lighter darts 40. because sometimes the the yeah, boards don't the allow leg. heavy Phil's darts. Out. Like Phil's, 26, 27 grams, which he can sometimes use when they've got the flight and stem. These are 24 well, there we go. grams. 3-2, it is back in business, Phil Taylor. But what a match this is. Fallon Sherrick with the edge, with a breaking throw. Race to seven, she leads 3-2. Mark, what a brilliant start from Fallon Sherry. Three out of four checkouts, so one five five along the way. Three two she leads. Could she cause an upset here? Well, you'd have to say that it is, Dave. I mean, we talked about would Fallon be phased in this match, and I thought the early part she may be, but she's certainly not. She's got that twelve dart breaker throw. She's finished one five five. If she's missed one dart and a double, Phil hasn't missed any. It, it, it's an incredible standard so far, but she's crucially got that breaker throw, and she's got the advantage now. Mark, we're still after the one five five checkout from Fallon. Little fist pump. Despite all the laughs and jokes, it's very serious out there, isn't it? They're business. Yeah, of course. I mean, if it was just a, a laugh and a joke, they wouldn't be playing this standard of darts. It's an incredible standard. And they're both they're feeding off each other. And I think Phil will, will know he's in a game now. I think he, he was expecting a challenge, but he's in a proper game now. I mean, he's, he's had his throw broken. And, yeah, he, he's seen a one five five finish. And like I said, that 12 dart will go against him. So I'm sure he won't panic just yet, but... If Fallon can go out after the break and hold throw, she's getting closer and closer to the finishing line and then maybe a little bit of panic might set into Phil, but long way to go yet, yeah, that's for sure. We can see the electronic scoreboard ticking down with some massive checkers. It must feel really helpful at the other end when you see the big scores rolling. Yeah, in particular when you hear when Fallon took the one five five, you're probably thinking you're not gonna get this. And then when you hear game shot, you're like, oh, it is a kick in the teeth because you're expecting another go. But yeah, on, on this board, you're going to see those big shots go. I think we'll see a few more in this match. and The 180s will continue to come as well. But yeah, that's it. You don't know what's coming. At least when you're watching on, when you're playing the normal format, you're sort of preparing yourself. But on this occasion, it's, it's a big surprise. And then when you've had that shot go against you, you're throwing next. You've got to react. And uh, Phil Taylor did react, to be fair. He got the last leg back. And it, it is certainly going to be game on in the second half. You promised a big score in there, Mark. Three 180s from Phil, one from Fallon. NHS Heroes getting almost £5,000 from Paddy Power already. 
Yeah, and they're going to bank themselves out a lot more than this next half, that's for sure, because the fluency of both players, even when they're missing the treble, they're just the wrong side. So I'm expecting plenty more 180s, and, and that, um, that charity pot will go through the roof, I'm sure. Mark, you went for Phil Taylor at the top of the show. Are you sticking with him to see this one out? On the basis that we've only got one break of throw over Fallon, I think so, because if Phil gets that one break back, he'll then have the darts into the cider. There's a long way to go, and uh, yeah, I, I just think Phil's class will show, but it's going to be a breathtaking ending, that's for sure. Let's rejoin Stuart Pike and Wayne Mardle for the rest of the action. So Claire gets Fallon to throw first. Beam on. That is the comfort break over. One and Fallon is comfortable. She's 3 2 up. She's kicking in with Biggins. Uh, finishing, she's taken out 155, 81, and 110. That's why she's 3 2 up. Phil has been very, very talkative in this match so far. Whereas Fallon's just going about her business. A silent assassin. Look at her, look. Focused. Go on, the 180. 140. Lunged at it. Lunged at it. Good dogs. Brilliant darts. Uh, full some praise from Phil. We, we, we talked about women's darts, haven't we? Fallon and Makura Suzuki, the double world champ. Lisa Ashton, of course, multi-world champion who now has a PDC tour card. Anastasia, oh, Bo Greaves. Of course, Laura Turner, uh, who we know from uh, her commentary uh, on Sky Sports, and you know the game is growing. Where do you see it going next, Wayne? What's the next you know, step? I'm going to put you under pressure now, don't you? <laughs> well, <laughs> see, Phil. It's, it's a real difficult time for ladies darts. The the BDO tour is kind of all but ended. The World well, Darts Federation, the WBF, are, are yet to kind of announce one. one. And the PDC are yet to to really do anything. But they've they've kind of said that they may get involved. Yeah, she takes out back. another oh, pop, pop. You you. Hey, It's four brilliant. two. But I really do feel well, done, sorry for well, the done. the top ladies now, Stuart, because they've got nowhere to earn their money. Lisa Ashton, yes, she holds a tour card, but that's the hardest way to earn a couple of quid. And Fallon is doing a good job here to to earn money for. The Heroes Charity, 1,600 in the bin so far. Phil, 3,400. But for Fallon, she leads 4-2. Can she, can Fallon fell Phil? 180. Well, another £1,000 courtesy of Paddy Power to the uh, Heroes NHS Charity. Is it going to be another one? 140. I'm lucky for Fallon. I know the PDC are, are, are drawing up big plans, aren't they, for the future yeah, of, they are. of, of ladies' darts. But obviously everything has been has been put on ice, hasn't it, because of 140. Uh, the, the tough times that we're all enduring at the moment. So I think more will possibly uh, come clear in, in, in 2021. Yeah, exactly. 2020 for a lot of people has been an absolute right off a washout. You want to call it whatever you like. It's been a tough year so far. One, three, one. And we're only in April, but uh, we're only in May. Sorry, but the we've got to be positive, Stu. We've got to plow on. Absolutely. What's on? 131. Okay. Tell you what, this is a perler of a game. Some would say a Brahma. You say Phil under pressure. 125. Under a little 16. bit more pressure Maybe now, isn't he? 50. Now he's Still a chattering he's away, Phil. What he's, what he's going for. Why is he announcing 18 double 16? To help you. <laughs> yeah, because I can't Filter. count. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. I'd have had no idea. It's another £200 in the hero's bin because of the first dart at a double. There we see Fallon Shirk leads 4-3. Look at the averages. 119 average, Phil 116. Phil, it's not hey, good enough. Fallon throw first. Game on. Yeah, really enjoying this. Fabulous entertainment. 60. For the lockdown. Wade Mardle, of course. We know lost in so many World Championship semi-finals. Doesn't like to be reminded, but we remind him all the time. No, he is. He is now a double world champion. Uh, <laughs> you may remember on the uh, 
the Phil against Makuru Suzuki game. We mentioned that Wayne had, no, I had won the, the walk-on world championship, of course, run by the PDC, a little bit of fun for the lockdown. But, Wayne, you've now won the Darting Shirt World Championship as well, haven't you? 125. Yeah, yeah the Dart Shirt World Cup. No, I'll I take whatever it is. I'm, I'm very active on Twitter, and my, my Twitter team, my yeah, team are. Mardlers, I call them, they were mobilised and they did a job for me. Um, this treble 20 at the moment is doing a job for Phil because he's hanging in. And I say that because he really is just hanging in. He's, he's having to play very, very well here just to keep tabs on Sherrick because a scoring oh, has been brilliant. Oh, Most of the shot. 180s haven't been flowing, Stuart. The 140s good certainly dog, have. Good dog, good dog. And that was acknowledged by Phil. A brilliant switch to leave 130. So she will get first chance at a, a finish to maintain her lead. But no, I divide. Phil knows that, that Fallon's finishing has been exemplary. She may have to use She's the bullseye here, though, Stuart, which is fair enough. She's not. Game shot the eighth oh, oh, Come good on good now, this is ridiculous. Good dodge, good. Good dodge. Look at Out. that. So what have we? What have we got? One five five eighty one hundred and ten ninety six one hundred and thirty. Correct, Pikey. It's been magnificent from the Queen of the Palace. I thought the power I was going to be too strong. First. I am not so certain now, and I never get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but listen, I mean, joking apart, Fallon's still only 25. 437. You know, what can she go on to achieve in this game? I guess the, the simple answer would be anything that she wants. She is that good. Yeah. Opportunities. That's what she needs first off. 100. This, uh, this COVID-19 pandemic has come along a, a real bad time for the world. I'm... I'm we were talking about Fallon Sherrick. She, she'd been given a lot, of, a lot of invitations to big events like World Series uh, events in, in New York. And unfortunately, they're all going to be put on the back burner, cancelled. Uh, so there are opportunities that she may never, never see. But she needs to just keep on keeping on because her talent is, is right up there with the very best that we've ever seen. And I'm including Lisa yeah. Ashton and Makuru Suzuki of right now. And only 25. 121. She needs somewhere to compete. Yeah, I think the hope is that those World Series events will go ahead in 2021 100. Yeah, no, uh, and Fallon will be included again but yeah you're looking at at, uh, at the Grand Slam and, and maybe whatever that the PDC has in mind for the future of, of women's dance requires Taylor 79. here it's a must get 79 well he's hit the 39 now he needs tops games on the night lag oh, clinical <laughs> these two are get clinical very very good not the normal way for 79 for Phil, but with the trebles being nearly as twice as wide as that what they'd normally play on, he fancied it, and he was right to fancy it. Well, look at the, the prize money going up and up and up. The money raised for the NHS Heroes charity. Ten the averages as Fallon well. Taylor first. 113, Game Fallon 115, and Fallon here throwing... To go within one leg of a famous, famous victory. And that will help. Well, there's been 10 darts at a double so far. Nine have been hit. Phil has been immaculate. Four from four. 140. Fallon, five from six. There Incredible. Will be some darts uh, at home. Uh, I can reveal away. 400. <laughs> Two of the top England cricketers, not just of this generation, of any generation, uh, Sir Alistair Cook and Jimmy Anderson will be doing battle <laughs> very soon. And another yeah, thousand that. pounds. Looking forward to that. Yeah, both very keen dance players. Is that right? That I that. Take... Uh... I think I'm right in saying Alistair Cook, he bats left-handed but plays darts right-handed. 
That's correct. They take well, on, on tour. They, they they take the the, the portable wire, dance watt. setups as well. Very keen on dance. Do they? On them. Looking at eighty one double eighteen again. Now then, can she switch to the 16? Six, now then, what a chance. Two darts missed. For 6-4. 60 for 38. Yeah. Oh, oh, he got away with that. Take that. Typical Fallon Taylor. Fallon got a bit nervous. Fallon got nervous, well in my opinion, there. But no, Phil I think Phil using all it. his years of experience... Yeah, Five I agree, Five all it is. Fallon missing two darts to go. Six, four up. Will that be a turning point? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm playing. It's Phil to throw first. We're ready, Phil. We're ready. <laughs> Are you ready? What's all that about? <laughs> yeah, you're ready, Phil, aren't you? 100 yes! Yes! <laughs> See what? Kirk Bevins has worked hard. That's a nice couch, Phil. Oh, Where did you, where'd you get that? <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Really enjoyable <laughs> once again. But that 10th leg, Wayne, is it a turning point? Two miss for 6-4 uh, for yeah. Fallon. I think it is, mate. I think it really is. 180! Because Super. Phil now has Fresh the darts. Air. He has the what darts. cracking game. Well done, cracking sir. game. I don't want to put Makuru Suzuki down oh. or Raymond Van Barneveld down, but this has been the best game so far. I've enjoyed oh, this to you. immensely. He calls, he's calling a duck now. He Come wants, on, duck. He's saying over to you. Over to you. Let's get the nine darter. That's five perfect darts for Fallon. And on we go. Oh, stop it. Barney missed one, didn't he? Barney missed double 12. The previous on, from Fallon Sherrick will suggest... She's got oh, to go 35, Stuart, surely. 60, 45, 36. Come on, Fallon. Carry on, my friend. 60. What are you doing? Why did she go that way? She's wanted 81 oh, twice. Now she's into the 45. Really you, require 46. No, I'm at a loss. Why go we against the Fallon. way that you normally go? Oh, come on, Fallon. Are you disappointed, Wayne? Disappointed? I'm annoyed. <laughs> oh, no. Nerves. Oh, Nerves. yes. Nerves. Three legs off the spin for Phil. Got away with that, mate, didn't he? Got away with another one there. He did, but Fallon averaging 119 and losing. Phil around 115 and a half. He's won three legs on the spin. £11,800 already raised for the Heroes Charity. Brilliant, well, brilliant Fallon entertainment. And Game. Phil here is ahead for the first time since the very first leg of the match. Three legs on the spin and Fallon here having to hold through. The takers to a nail-biting final deciding leg. Yeah, Fallon's just made a couple of errors the last two hey, legs. The one in 81, hit the 45. This is in leg 10. One in 81, hit the 45, missed the 36, then missed the 32. That's fine, just missed. That's fine. But then one in 81 with two in hand for a nine data after hitting the 60. Getting tired now, pal. Not go Phil's getting tired. Come on, pal. You're only 59. 100. You're only 34 years younger than Fallon. <laughs> ah, good darts, Fallon Sherrick. Really good stuff. Brilliant, brilliant darts from the Queen of the Palace. It looks like we've got our deciding leg. One hundred and eight. Oh, they're raining maximums. Get your umbrellas out. It's raining maximums. Game shot on the 12th leg. Uh, another £200 and another leg for Fallon. And we are going to a deciding leg. Phil will have the darts. Well, a fitting finale, Wayne, to a fabulous game. And look at that. 120 average for Fallon. 116 for Phil. 14000 already raised uh, for the Heroes NHS charity. 
Here we go. One leg of dance. The Ethan final leg. It's Phil to throw first. Well, Game on. Looking at those stats and just remembering what we've just seen the last few legs where Fallon has made errors. 140. She's probably deserved to already have won this. She's played more consistent. She's played better than Phil, in my opinion. Just those couple of errors of Costa. And now Phil's kicked off 140. And Max is great. But, but, you cannot see this man wasting opportunities if he creates one for himself, which you think he's going to do. 135. Ah, thrilling, thrilling stuff. Brilliant. Oh, that, le that leg 10 for Fallon when she missed those two darts. But how about this? It's five perfect darts. 106. Six of the very best. She can't win it with a nine darter, can she? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some things, but I've never seen the like. <laughs> Go on, Fallon. Right, this time, 60, 45, 36. Go on, Stuart. Oh, a oh. bit higher. Yeah, a bit, a bit higher. higher. That's what we all wanted. <laughs> she may not get another Six. shot, you know. This is so horrible. After missing that first dart, she just lost a little bit He's of got, focus. He's got to hit the bullseye. He's got to hit the bullseye. <laughs> For the win! Game shot. <laughs> and the match. What a no. way! Wow. What a way to win it! Fallon Sherrick was on a nine darter, and Taylor, as Taylor has so many times down the years and the decades. <laughs> it's the ball, a 167 to win a thriller. Magnificent, fabulous from Fallon, but typical, terrific from Taylor. Look at that. £16,200 raised for the NHS Heroes Charity, 4180s. Fallon averages 121 and change and loses. Brilliant stuff. What a game. Quite staggering. That may be the kind of game you never see again. 121 average, not being good enough. The power was too strong. What a match. Mark, what a match. Fallon Sherrick ends up averaging 121 and still loses. Yeah, it was just an incredible match, wasn't it? I mean, the last leg was just a fitting end to what was an incredible game. You know, Fallon's on the potential nine dart finish. Like you said, Dave, she's got five points higher in the average than Phil, 1 2 1 to 1 16. But Phil hits that 1 6 7 to close out the match when Fallon was waiting on the two dart. It was just an incredible end to an incredible match. And um, the best leg was saved to the last one. Let's talk about that deciding leg. Phil needed 1 6 7 and finished off with an inner ball. Brilliant. Yeah, it was just, I, you kind of sensed it was going, didn't you? And it's like, we, we talked about it in the, in the break after five legs when you can't see what's really happening. You're just waiting to have your chance, hopefully. And she probably thought she's going to get another chance, but not on Phil Taylor's watch. He's done this to many a player over many a year. And it was a big finish. And where we surprised, probably not, because he is that good and he's still playing at the highest level. So, um, yeah, it was a great last leg. And I think the match deserved that last leg. A word on Fallon, she proved what a great player she is and must give her great confidence going forward. Yeah, of course. I mean, playing against that calibre of player, even if the result wasn't close, it's the experience and she's going to keep on playing and they're going to mix in each other's circles, I'm sure. So it's a good platform for her. She pushed him all the way and uh, yeah, we'll hopefully see them play again down the line because after that, I think many people will want to see them go at it again. Cheers, Mark. That's what we've got time for from Paddy Power Dars at home. Fallon puts up a fight, but Taylor proves he's still a king. In his own home, at least. Good night.